everybody. Today we're going to work on ears. And red is going to be my helper. And as you can see, red has a high ear set. And that is what we're going to be working on is dogs with high ear sets. Whenever I trim ears, one of the first things I want to do is I want to look at the natural ears. So I have a treat out and look at the ears and see how they naturally fold and what I want to take off. I never take off too much in the ear because you can't put it back. But the other thing is, is with our breed and with our breed standards, you want the ears to look as natural as possible. So that's the first thing you're going to do is get the treats out. Red said she would like another one. Then you're going to take a brush and you brush out all the hair around the ear. If you have a collar on or you have her in a grooming noose, you need to make sure that the hair is out of that area. You brush the hair up on both sides and down on the sides. Make sure you do both ears. Make sure there's nothing in the ears. If you have mats behind the ears, what I usually like taking is a smaller comb and go ahead and combing that area out. If you have to, you might have to cut out those mats. The other thing I use for ears is a th thinning shears. I never use straight scissors on ears. To me, straight sh scissors show too much of a jagged edge. And remember, the main thing is, is you're wanting natural. If you're doing ears for a dog show, you need to do your ears between two to three days before the actual show. So the ears have a little bit of time to gra grow a little bit of natural growth. First thing you're going to do is you're going to hold up the ear. When you're holding up the ear completely, you're going to take all your hair from the side and pull it from the back and you're going to pull it off to the side. This gives you a line. You're going to take that line and you're going to go straight down with your thinning shears and trim off all that excess, excessive hair. Just follow the curve of the ear. Pull out any on the bottom that needs to be pulled out and also trim that. Then you're going to pull out the hair that's directly below the ear and you're going to just thin that out slightly. So now I don't, shouldn't have any long straggling hairs below the ear and I took some of this out. If you have tons of hair here, go ahead and thin that out a little bit more. Red only had a small amount. The next thing you're going to do is the top of the ear. When you do the top of the ear, the best way to do it is take the ear from the corner and you're going to roll the ear inward or downward, I guess it would be. So, but as you're doing it, you're going to pull all the hair up and you're going to use this as your reference point. So this is how long I want all the rest of the hair to be. So I'm going to go from here, I'm going to go towards the dog with my thinning shears and I'm going to take off as I roll the rest of that ear hair. Don't take off the ear, my hurt. <laughs> hey, red dog. Once again, make it go straight and take that hair off. As you do this, you might notice you need a little bit more off the side, that downward straight line. And basically, folks, I don't do much more. When you have a lot of here, ear hair that's right here, go ahead and fold inward and take a small amount off. All you're going to do is make it as long as the other hair around. Do not go as close as the ear is. Once again, you might want to fold down a little bit more. You see I have a little bit that's too long here. I'm going to take that off. All done with thinning shears. Once I'm done with that, I get a treat and I look at it. You can already tell that the one ear looks a lot more trimmed 
than this one. What I like to do though at this point, oh, my great dog, grab my treat, look at her with the thinning shears, take off any little loose ends that might need to be done. I personally do not go around the ear. I feel like that gives too much of a sculptured look. I want the ears as natural as possible. I just want them cleaned up. And you see that gives her a nice little ear set without taking too much off. I'm only taking a little bit too much here, but in general, it looks good. So let's go do the other one. Once again, we're going to brush our ear, pull our ear out straight, we take our hair off to the side, do our straight line from here down, take a small amount on the inside out, Then take our ear leather, go down, pull it all, all the hair out, go downwards, and thin out the top. Pull it again, see if we need any more. Pull out to the side, see if we need any more. I also like to take any dead hair out at the same time. Grab your treat. Red says this is the best part. Look at the ears and you can see they're both now nice and trimmed. Red, it's right there. Nice and trimmed ears, but not overly trimmed. They look still look natural. But they're a nice ear set and it shows off the head a little bit better. Thank you for watching.